Hello everyone, this is the 14th lecture and today we will learn about procedures, also called as functions integral. The application of PROC and way of defining it is very similar to what we have seen in C. So we will begin with a simple example where we will define the PROC and we will only print this some text. Later we will go deep down into defining some complex functions. Let us begin. So this part is called as name of the PROC. And this part where you will put your arguments here no argument is required so there is no argument but you have to define it still like that and this part this is the beginning of proc so you have to put this curly brace opening curly brace in the beginning and you have to put it in the same line as you write in the keyword proc same line it should be otherwise it will give a syntax error then you have to print some statement and then you have to close it so this is how you will call your procedure just print the name of that function it will call it if there is no argument if there is an argument then it is a different case that we will see later on so this is how you will call calling a proc and tickle is simply write down the proc and arguments if any okay then procedures with multiple arguments we will see one example where we are defining arguments inside a proc so this part is again the name of the proc and this part is where you will define your arguments and in this case the number of arguments is known in advance and is in a fixed count it could be variable also we will see that case later on this part is returning part so whatever the value that you are returning from the proc that would be given here and here it means 10 this will be given to a b will take value as 30 it will calculate the expression and this function will return a value called 40 and output will be 40 here. Now let us see one more example where you are asked by the manager to write a code to update the employee ID of all employees. For example, if your employee ID is 1234, then you are asked to update it as 11234. That is, you have to add 1 as a prefix in the beginning of each employee ID. We will see how to write a function for this. So first, proc and then employee modifier. This is the name of your proc. This is the argument, employee ID. So each employee ID will be given as an argument to this function called employee modifier then you have to return this statement so what this statement is doing is it is creating a list where one and employee id are put together as a list so in this statement the list will be created where one and employee id will be put together then they are joined using this function so join function then you have to give the list and then you have to give the criteria how do you want to join so here nothing means it will not use any other statement like dot comma they, they are not used for joining it will directly join these two so for example your employee id first is created with this statement as one and one two three four this list is created now you have to join so after this join statement it will create an id like this this statement join statement will join and create an employee id that you are returning from this function so whenever you call your employee id it will return with added one to it so for example here 7892 so output of this function will be 17892 that is how it is now we will see the proc with arguments which has default value default value means if you are not supplying the value for that particular argument then it will not error out but the function will take the default value for that particular argument consider the case where your manager doesn't want to add one to employee id he wants to add a code to every employee id if a code is not supplied then it should add a default value as a 000. Now we will see how to write function for that particular thing. So this is the function. Here this code is taking a default value. So function is exactly same but here we are supplying one more argument the code which has a default value of 000. So here when you join so list it will not take one here it will take the code. Code it will take and it will join with your employee id. So if your code is let's say 123 so employee id is let's say 456 so it will join 123456 it will be new employee id that it will return but let's say if you have not supplied any value so then it will add 000 for example if you supply only this much employee modifier and then you supply only this so employee id you have supplied here but you have not supplied the code so it will not add it will only add code as default value as 000 this is how it will be looking after the output so that is how it is 
now we will see the case where the number of arguments that you provide to the function is not fixed then tcl shell will take the argument as a list for example if your manager has given you list of name of employees and you have to create the email id for their names let us see how to write a function that will return a list of email ids for those particular names let's say this is the list of names that you have been given so employees is a variable that will be getting the list of names then proc email so if this is your name of proc then this is the argument so this argument is nothing but the list when you call this proc this list will be supplied in this variable so set employee id employee id is uh, some purpose which you will see later on so for each name this employee names it will take all the list here and it will iterate with this name variable it will iterate over this list so what you are doing is you will join this name with this email id so let's say ymail.com is your email id and you are joining this with your name so for example raju will come here in first iteration danish will come in second iteration ratnesh will come in th third iteration and ekanj will come in fourth iteration every iteration it will take each name and it will iterate so this will join it and it will return so what we are doing is we are creating this list it will take this list and it will append every time it will append to this list so this id which is created here it will be appended to this list and this list will be return later on so here this emp id this is the variable which is containing the list of email ids for these particular names so what happens is when you call this function this employees which is nothing but this list it will go as an argument for this function and then it will return this email id list so output will be something like this this is how it is we have covered all the possibilities of defining procedures hope you liked it please let us know your views in comment sections thank you